hello everyone and i hope you guys are doing great so the weather is pretty good today it's raining cold and uh, with this i'm going to talk about uh, great opportunities for your master's studies in a top ranked universities in indonesia i'm going to talk about university of indonesia which is one of the oldest and i can say top university in indonesia even in the asia So uh, before talking about the uh, scholarship, I would like to discuss about the University of Indonesia. Uh, it's actually one of the, uh, I can say top university in ranking, uh, I think 325 over the world. And uh, in Asia, it's around at the top 70. So, uh, but in Indonesia, it's the top university which is mainly focused on innovation, technology, and research. So uh, it's the best opportunities for a lot of students who dream and who desire to study in a top-ranking university to pursue their master degree. So I think it's the best opportunity for uh, pursuing your master degree in Indonesia. So let's talk about this scholarship. Uh, the scholarship name is UI Grid Scholarship in University of Indonesia Grid Scholarship, which they offer for uh, master's students mainly focus on research side. So they have a lot of subjects, uh, departments, physics, uh, chemistry, uh, computer, and a lot of others. You can uh, search their website and see the details of departments and faculties which they offer for under this scholarship, especially for master's students. Uh, they also open this scholarship mostly for PhD students, but unfortunately not for bachelor's students, but currently it's open only for master's students. So it's a good opportunity. Uh, first, I'm going to talk about uh, what, what are the criteria and eligibility for this scholarship. So only students who want to pursue their master studies here, uh, they can apply and uh, they must not holding any other scholarships, especially in Indonesia. So um, the requirements are also simple, not that much difficult. Uh, they must have a English proficiency certificate or maybe if you have a Bahasa Indonesia a language certificate, it's far better because uh, this year there's a specific requirement about this. Uh, you have to sign a paper which mentioned that um, you must have one of these languages and just in case if some of the subjects while you're studying uh, master uh, in these universities if it's uh, some of the professor want to teach in Indonesian language so you must uh, sign that agreement later that you are agreed to study those subjects in Indonesian language but it depends mostly of them uh, uh, teach in English but some of them like it's not their uh, English is not their prof uh, professional language in the country so they prefer mostly uh, Bahasa Indonesia but it's not really because mostly my friends are studying uh, there so uh, I asked them they don't have a problem mostly uh, in master uh, especially the slides and the classes are in um, English. So in the eligibility, there are more things such as uh, the admission requirements for specifically for your uh, subject, for your department. So you must check them out. So you have to complete all the required documents and you must keep uh, at least three GPA or above while you're studying here. I think it's easy because uh, I also having 3.75 GPA 
and I think I didn't study that much hard in my master so I think you can easily do it because it's mainly focused on research one of the important eligibility is that while pursuing your master degree here you should not holding any other scholarship so these are the eligibility requirements I will put the link in the description you can check them out in details and now let's talk about the um, the benefits of this scholarship so as I said that you know uh, you are a great scholarship they offer this opportunity with fully funded scholarship so uh, it will cover all of your cost uh, and um, even including the visa cost uh, living allowances settlement allowance these are at once only and also they will uh, give you some amount of money which will refer to your flight tickets uh, coming here and also departure after your graduation and uh, they will also provide you accommodation and apart from that there's a, a living allowance which will help you out with the um, your food and those costs so I think it cover almost all the things including visa and for the research there might be some allowance as well uh, which is which can you use only later for your publication so it's almost fully funded and the stipends is also I think um, 3 million or something above I think it's a pretty good amount and the university is located in Jakarta so um, so if accommodation is free and the living allowance covers your food uh, so I think it's pretty enough uh, you don't have to spend extra amount yeah if you want to uh, go around or something so probably you have to spend more money and you can get that money from your job online job or um, your pocket money from your parents whatever so it's a fully funded opportunity which covers everything and the best part is that it is a top uh, ranked university in Indonesia and 67 in Asia and I think 325 ranking QS uh, ranking in the world so I wish you best of luck and the deadline remember the deadline is 12 May and today is I think 7 so you should uh, apply as fast as you can complete the documents because the documents are not that much complicated all you need is your passport your academic transcript and degree a research proposal and uh, the English language proficiency medical document and yeah because of the COVID uh, before this is mandatory that you must have uh, at least two doses of um, any vaccination uh, you must have it to present it uh, and you must have I think physical proof of certificate or any card it depends on the uh, vaccination company which they offer after um, vaccination so you have to apply on their uh, international uh, portal application process admission portal I think uh, so you can find it in the description I put the link about the scholarship you can find a, a, a procedure to apply for this scholarship as well and there is a mandatory document which you have to get from uh, your uh, country um, Indonesian embassy in your country or maybe a consulate of Indonesia in your country so you have to contact them and ask them that we are going to apply for this you are great scholarship and uh, we need a recommendation later from the embassy they know about this so they will tell you the procedure what's what kind of documents they need from you and then you complete those documents send it to embassy they will give you a recommendation later after this you have to apply uh, on this admission portal and submit all the required documents which they are needed so good luck guys and uh, apply for this opportunity don't miss it and uh, that's all from me and I hope uh, this video will help you with the process and also if some of you uh, got selected for this opportunity so I would say that it's a good thing for me as well uh, so thank you guys don't forget to like and subscribe and support my channel see you in the next video take care goodbye